We have a huge game on Saturday against a very, very good basketball team, and, and everybody knows that. UNLV is an NCAA tournament team. They would like nothing more than to get a huge resume win on Saturday, and our job is not, not, not to allow that to happen. We've had great games with them in the past. We had a knockdown, drag out, 55 49 game here, and it will probably be more of the same. So we will be excited and ready, and I know the Rebels will also. Do we have any injury updates? Anything else to, to add to Chase Hadley, Tim Shelton? Any more news? Uh, neither did anything today. Chase uh, did a little light shooting, jogging, cutting. I'm cautiously optimistic that Chase will possibly have an opportunity. Uh, less positive about Tim. But right now, I would say both of you. As far as the game you guys had against Utah, to open up a big lead like that, get a lot of guys play time. Is that something that will help considering you might only be dressing 10 guys against you and be to have gotten some good game experience with those guys? What that game did is it allowed us to play guys for substantial minutes uh, as the game wore on. And I think that should wear well for us. Uh, if, we're, if we don't have those two guys, it means what we saw against Utah. It means that Jamal Franklin now takes that spot in the rotation that, that, that James had been taking, and James steps into the starting lineup. And I thought we got not good, but great production when Jamal was uh, uh, Carwell will get more minutes. He'll get his and Tim's. So we've got to have guys ready to play. And we've talked about having depth and quality, and uh, that will continue to be tested. But I, I do like how we respond to the issue. From a 